Hey guys, I hope you're well. This is Shamsa and welcome back to my little kitchen. Today's recipe is for masala fish fry, better than any restaurant ones out there. Guaranteed, if you make this at home, you will love this recipe and it's gonna become a firm favorite in your households. Now, there's a two-step um, preparation for this. The first step is the marination of the fish and then it's obviously coated in a spicy sort of like dry masala mix and then fried and honestly served up with a green chutney, which is a mint and coriander chutney, you can't go wrong. I'm gonna leave the link for you guys as well in the description box below for the mint chutney in case you want it. And now we're gonna move on to making masala fish fry, my style. Let's run through the ingredients quickly and then we'll start cooking. So the ingredients you're going to need is approximately 600 grams of fish fillet here. Now I'm using cod today, you can use haddock or you can use sort of like any firm white fish that you wish. And I've just cubed them into sort of like nice bite-sized chunks. Now, I these were frozen fillets that I picked up from the supermarket. And all I did was I just let them defrost in the fridge overnight and then cut them into pieces. And they've got no water in them. I've washed them and they've been like, you know, resting in a sieve and the water's drained out. So it's important that there's no water in there. Now, I've got here four tablespoons of plain flour and the same of gram flour, which is basin. I've got the juice of one lemon here and I have one teaspoon of the following salt, garam masala, dried fenugreek leaves, which is also known as methi. And I've got half a teaspoon of regular chili powder, dried chili flakes, black pepper powder, jarred masala and ajwain, which is known as carom seeds. And I have half a teaspoon of orange food coloring and salt. Now the food coloring will add a really nice color to it and give it that restaurant style sort of like um, quality. And um, you can leave it out if you don't um, want to add that in or you can substitute it with half a teaspoon of digi mirch, which is the Kashmiri chili powder. Here I've got one teaspoon each of cumin seeds and coriander seeds. I roasted them slightly before I actually coarsely crushed them. And I've got here eight uh, fresh cloves of garlic and I've got three green chilies so let's start cooking. Okay so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to prepare the first step of our marination for our fish and to do that what we're going to do is we're going to take a, a hand um, blender or a, um, a little sort of like uh, coffee grinder here which I use for my masala uh, to grind all my masala in and we're going to add our uh, garlic and chilies in there like that then we're going to add our lemon juice and then into that I'm also going to throw in the uh, half a teaspoon of salt like that and we're just going to blitz it to a really nice fine uh, puree paste. Right okay so after blitzing uh, the garlic, chilies, lemon juice and salt together this is what we've got and now all we're going to do is we're going to transfer this to our fish like that. Doesn't matter if there's any little clumps of garlic in there you won't be using them anyway. So just make sure you get all that off. And also there's some just stuck on this lid here, which I'm gonna get off as well because it'll go to waste otherwise, like that. And now we're just gonna gently make sure all of those pieces are coated with this wonderful marination, which is the first step. And do be gentle because it is fish. And even though, you know, the pieces are quite sort of like thick and chunky. You know, they are very fragile. And just make sure you mix them like that in this wonderful, wonderful masala. That's nicely coated. All the pieces are really nicely coated in that. And all I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna cover this with a plate like that, sorry. <laughs> and I'm gonna allow that to sit now for about an hour and after an hour, I'll show you what you need to do next. Now you can do this step um, ahead of time. So if you wanted to marinate the fish, you could marinate it and then put it back into the fridge to use for the next day. That's perfectly fine. But I'll see you guys back in an hour's time. Right, okay guys, coming back to the marinated fish. It's had one hour of marination and this is how it looks. And you can see there's a lot of moisture at the bottom of the plate. It's the lemon juice that we added when we actually blitzed all the ingredients. We're not going to be needing any of that. The next step, however, is just move that out of the way. I have here another bowl and we're going to add all our remaining ingredients in. So straight in with the plain flour, the gram flour, which is the basin, all the spices, just 
just like that. The lightly roasted ground cumin and coriander seeds, which are coarsely ground. And the orange food coloring. And we're just gonna make sure that we mix all of that together so it's well combined, all of those spices. Right, okay, so this is really nicely combined and all the spices are mixed into that basin and flour mixture. Now, the reason why we're using flour with basin is because basin won't exactly crisp it up enough. The flour acts as a cr nice crisping agent and it will crisp it up even more to give you that really nice crisp um, fish masala, fried fish pakora, whatever you wanna call it. So all we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our marinated pieces of fish and we're just gonna drop them into this dry batter and we're just gonna coat it like that one by one so they're like that and then just place them on a plate and just continue to do all of them and just place them on the plate and I'll show you how they look once they're done right okay guys so I've coated all of my fish pieces and now we're going to fry this so I'm just going to move my camera over and show you how to do that so to fry the fish, I've got my wok here, which has been on the heat now with the oil. Now my temperature settings is on a seven, which is a medium to high heat setting. Now, if you don't have um, a temperature gauge to check the temperature of the oil to see if it's ready, the other thing you can do is just take a cocktail stick like this and insert it in the middle. And if it starts to sort of like bubble and fizz up, you know the oil is ready. For frying so we're going to gently lower our pieces of fish in now um, do remember when you add the fish in keep your temperature at the, the the temperature it's currently at now which is a medium to high and a seven for my ceramic hob setting don't lower it because by the time you add the fish in the temperature of the oil will drop and once you add the fish in the other important thing to remember is not to move the fish. Give it at least 30 seconds just so, to sort of like, you know, sort itself out in that hot oil to start, you know, cooking on the outside because if we do start moving it around straight away, the fish pieces will break. So I'm going to gently lower them in. And just don't overcrowd them as well. So you want, you can fry them in two lots. And we're gonna be frying these for about two to three minutes. Perfect. So it's been about 30 seconds. I'm gonna go in and move them around gently. Right, okay, the fish pieces are nice and ready now. And I'm just gonna take them out and pop them onto some kitchen paper to drain. And I'm just gonna continue frying the remaining lot. And there you have it guys. My masala fish fry is all ready. So let me plate this up and show you guys exactly how it is. So there you have it guys. My beautifully cooked masala fish fry is all plated up, looking absolutely gorgeous. Now I'm gonna try this now for you guys. Oops. <laughs> Squeeze some lemon juice on that. Oh, first of all, without any sauce. Mmm, absolutely delicious. That masala on the outside is so crispy and crunchy. And all the spices that we added caught um, the entire sort of like fish pieces. So I can taste literally every spice that I've added. And now for the mint chutney. Whoa. Oh my God, what's to die for? That is honestly absolutely gorgeous. Wonderful, wonderful recipe. Try it out. Let me know how you find it in the comments below. Guys, if you found this video helpful, as always, give it a big thumbs up. I'll appreciate it. Your support means everything to me. Thank you so much. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already. Turn your bell notifications on and I'll catch you next week with a new video. Till then, take care and happy eating.